Hi, welcome to our showing of our Hunter 466 Luxury Edition. It's a 2004 Hunter, 46 feet with a six foot draft. My name's Jason. My wife Colleen has the uh, camera in hand and we're wanting to show you the amenities that this boat has. Uh, I'm standing up on the bow where we recently installed a 73 pound rock net anchor and 200 feet of chain. So. We wanted to ensure that we stayed put when we were at anchor. The uh, boat also comes with a secondary anchor as well. A um, couple things we'll highlight is just the, the things we like about it, including the uh, furling system up front with the 110 uh, jib sail that's been kept indoors most of its life. It's in great shape. Um, and also this boat uh, sports an in-mast furling system so that we can easily reef the sail when we're out and about. And, uh, adjust the trim and, and sail on the go from the cockpit, which we really like. The boat, if you uh, do pan up the mast, uh, you'll notice we do have a Garmin radar system on the boat, as well as the Garmin uh, navigational chart plotting system. Um, up top, we do also have, uh, just as a side note, a digital TV antenna, so we can pick up um, local TV whenever we're uh, on the coast and uh, at the marina. The, uh, let's see, the mast is a 63 foot uh, height. So when we're on the intercoastal, we've had no trouble getting under the 65 foot uh, bridge heights at, at high tide. So um, I wanna show you around as we go. And I will note that if you have any questions beyond what you see today, feel free to give us a shout out at the phone number listed or the email on this video or in the posting. And we'll be happy to uh, meet with you or even do a Zoom style uh, online video meeting to answer questions and show you around. A um, couple things here in the aft part of the boat, you'll notice we have that the, we have in the boat does come with the dinghy that we uh, bought only a year ago. So it's just a year old, very few hours. Uh, PVC dinghy holds, it's over 11 feet, holds uh, four or five people very easily. And we have with it the 15 horsepower Mercury outboard engine at the same age, not just a year old, very few hours. Um, it also, the boat sports a 175 watt solar panel system up on a pole mount here on the back, just a good size for maintaining those house batteries while we're out sailing around and keeping the refrigerator and beer cold during the day because we can enjoy it at night. Um, the divot system for raising and lowering the dinghy um, is a great amenity as well. We also have a, uh, a lift system for that outboard motor. So while it's a 15 horse, um, the lift system makes it easy to put it on and off your dinghy without using much strength. Um, here in the cockpit, it's obviously very roomy and I think if you want to come aboard and we'll show them up close. This boat was a freshwater boat for the first 10 years of its life up in the Great Lakes before being hauled uh, uh, down to uh, southern or mid-southern Florida. And then we have been uh, sailing here in northeast Florida for the last year. Um, we installed a captain's chair that's removable, makes it easy to come on and off, enjoy, uh, you know, resting while we're sailing around, but also pop it off, fold down the uh, uh, seating area so you have easy access to your dive plank on the back of the boat. Um, brand new life sling updated amenities, things like that. We wanted to make sure that it was safe for the family and, and whoever comes aboard. Um, the cushions are in good shape and uh, again just lots of room in the cockpit for if you're a, a day sailor and enjoying the bay with friends and, and entertaining or if you want to sail across to the Bahamas um, there's plenty of room and, and uh, space to, to get done what you need. Our, I mentioned the, the Garmin system, the large screen GPS map 5212. Um, uh, not the newest chart, but it has all the means you need in terms of keeping track of waypoints and um, the radar system works uh, great. It also boasts a um, uh, autopilot system along with the boat and a recently replaced uh, controller for our bow thruster, which is uh, really handy on a nice big 46 foot bow just to help uh, maneuver around here at the dock. 
It's got two set, sets of uh, Lumar uh, winches. Um, the uh, winches are um, made or positioned to utilize electric motors if you choose. We haven't installed electric motors yet, but you can. In fact, with our furling system, we found that we just didn't need them because we were lifting a heavy sail all the time. We were simply unfurling our sail. So that's something we, we haven't chose to use, but you certainly can add them to these uh, good Lumar um, winches. Um, easy to navigate because all of the lines and rigging run back to the cockpit, so I'm not having to go up uh, on the mast to maneuver or change things around. Um, it does come with a full set of canvas and uh, screens. We have the icing glass dodger for the front. Um, it's inside stored at the moment. And we have the external screens and icing glass for all the way around the cockpit. So uh, you can uh, lock out those bugs if you wanted or, or close off the wind. Or, or close off the wind. The um, engine is a 76 horsepower Yanmar. We'll go down below and look at the inside the cabin and uh, try to answer questions about the generator and uh, the power source. We really liked the boat. Um, we were gonna. We have a family, so we enjoyed the three staterooms and the spacious room here in the salon. Um, the galley has plenty of space, but it's designed well for um, keeping your balance and, and just being stable while you're on the boat trying to cook or, or you know, fix. Uh, Fix food for everybody. A very large deep fridge. Um, it also has a separate freezer unit. So between those uh, those two units, you can store a lot of food and a lot of amenities for a long time. Um, this is a, a cutting block that we normally set on our um, gimbaled stove. We have a three propane stove that works really well and uh, easy to easy to prepare food here at on the boat. And we just use the head right there. Let's see. Let's talk a little bit about the nav station and, and some of the control center. Um, this boat has two 30 amp inputs. So when we're at the 50 amp uh, power source at a marina, we simply have a splitter that's easy. Um, two large capacity house batteries plus a starting battery. So when we're on DC, we can run our fridges and everything uh, very easily. Um, we have multiple ways to keep the power going, both from the uh, engine alternator to a brand new uh, five uh, kilowatt, five watt um, Fisher Panda uh, generator controlled here at the nav station. And we can, we'll show that to you as well. And then for uh, just sort of ongoing maintenance, we have solar panel that we mentioned outside with the controller inside. Um, the uh, tank monitoring system is all replaced and updated so you can monitor your water tanks, your waste tanks, and your fuel tanks, of course. Uh, updated all of that. And um, so those types of amenities become important when they start to get full. Um, the inverter is uh, a good quality um, uh, Leave that there. It's a it's a Freedom Marine 25, so we're, I think we're looking at 2,500 uh, watt capacity and it has no problem uh, keeping everything going here on the boat. Um, plenty of storage from the cabinetry in the salon to uh, below the floors in the kitchen to all the staterooms with their closets. There's lots of different storage places, entertainment systems. A Bose stereo system, so things that you come to expect from a nice uh, yacht or boat. Um, this uh, booth system does drop down, and so there's extra sleeping room for a family. And uh, I say grandkids, but I actually have slept here too, so it, it will fit someone that's 6'2, 250. Stateroom, uh, very uh, spacious, easy to access from both sides. Um, you don't think about that all the time in a sailboat, you're thinking about the sails and stuff, but. You can just climb into bed without climbing over each other. It's real nice. Um, this is the first bathroom up front. We have a separate um, toilet and washroom. And then 
the shower is in its separate compartment, keeping everything high and dry, which again, is just a, a nice amenity to have where you're not worried about getting everything all wet. 11 gallon hot water heater, so plenty of water for, for showers and 200 gallons of fresh water storage space. So among the different tanks located throughout the boat, you have 200 gallons of water, of fresh water for use in the fresh water toilets. Again, another benefit for maintaining, um, you know, they don't smell as much, um, but those electric fresh water toilets are, are a nice amenity that you, you come to appreciate when you stay on the boat a lot. We'll have you uh, just take a peek in each stateroom here um, on the port side. Um, easily sleeps two adults, so kind of a uh, almost queen size. Over here on the starboard, we have the other stateroom. I'm going to take this opportunity to show you not only the stateroom but um, the uh, power sources. Um, I should mention, if I hadn't before, that this boat does have two um, air conditioned heating units, so you can heat and cool the back section of the boat or the front section of the boat with two separate um, air conditioned units. And it's kind of nice to have a backup, but uh, they work well and to power them when you're out and about we have again i mentioned this uh 5k fisher painted generator it's brand new it only has 29 hours on it uh, so we had it installed and it works great it'll power both air conditioning units and you know warm up our burrito and uh, you know maintain the lights uh, without pulling much at all and so it, it's very powerful even for its compact size The uh, starboard stateroom that you're in right now does have immediate access to the second head here on the boat. So the uh, bathroom compartment with plenty of room for the amenities that you would need and does have a, a, a wet the sh the shower hose. Obviously, uh, if you're interested in taking a closer look at the boat, you want to take a look at the engine and the powerhouse. But I think you can still see with the video just how clean this uh, Yanmar diesel is. It only has 1,090 some hours, which is pretty light for a boat that was uh, made in 2004. Meticulously maintained the records that we got from the previous owner, and we've kept records. So just uh, you know, it's very clean. Keep the oil changed. Keep the filters uh, updated and the impellers and everything like that. So uh, no no question on uh, the value of this engine here. And, uh, um, also, I wanted to highlight the water maker. I forgot about that as we kind of pass through the main salon. We do we did install a uh, Seawater Pro water maker. It is installed underneath our salon bench. I made sure that I could access the gauges and kind of uh, raise them or the pressure from externally to make it easy for access. I even have my TPS meter so I can monitor water quality very easy. And it is plumbed so that you can actually turn on the water maker and push water into your uh, various freshwater tanks while at sea. You don't have to take your hoses outside and put them down through the uh, filling stations. Um, and in fact, the, the pump motors for that on our nav station uh, panel as well. So trying to make it easy access uh, so that we can make water while we're either underway or at anchor and don't have to tear apart the boat. But up underneath here is the double membrane 38 gallon per hour uh, water making system. The uh, boat itself is very clean. Um, spent a lot of time in fresh water as well as uh, 
just uh, has a nice little retreat for previous owners. So you'll find that um, lightly used interior and things like that. If you have any questions about the boat, um, please give us a call. Again, we'll post the numbers here on the video screen as well as on any uh, post that you may have found us. Um, so give us a call or email us with any questions you might have. And we'd be happy to set up a video conference so that we can talk to you face to face on the, on the phone, answer questions and show you around or uh, set up an in-person meeting if you'd like to take a look.